You are now listening to or watching the It Takes All Kinds podcast. Yeah, and if you aren't, you can head over to Apple Podcasts or Spotify and listen to us now, or head on over to Drib on YouTube and watch the video version as well. And if you'd like to stay up to date on when we're releasing a new episode or any other fun information about the podcast, you can give us a follow on Instagram at It Takes All Kinds Podcast and on Twitter at ITAC Podcast. That's I T A K Podcast. Without saying much else, we hope you enjoy this episode. I'm over here stroking my dick. I got no. Sound weird to you at all, or is that just me? I think that's you, pal. Get over it, man. Get, Get over. over. Get over it. Get out of here. Get out of here. Come on, Bob. Get up, Bob. Get up. What's up, man? Nothing, man. I woke up four hours ago. I don't like Big BJ Novak as an actor. I know because you didn't text me until four o'clock. Four o'clock. Yeah. I was fretting the whole day. You're like, really? oh gosh, I don't know when Kevin's gonna text me back. Like, oh, I just need him to text me back. Oh no! I'm screaming. I was crying. Hello, this is Elon Musk, and you're watching the It Takes All Kinds podcast. Welcome to the It Takes All Kinds podcast, episode 127. Yes, sir. One two seven. We're recording this on Tuesday, August eighth. You'll be hearing this on Friday, August eleventh. The Ghost Concert Day. Yeah, you're going to go see Ghost. Yeah, Hollywood Ghost. Casino. Amphitheater. You know who's playing at the St. Louis Music Park of Heaven? Who? Whatever it's called. Uh, Yellow Card and Story of the Year. Right. Kind of considering going to that. I probably won't. When? When is that? Friday. Friday. Happening like what? A mile from where that is? I don't know how close it is. To yeah. Me. Oh, yeah. No, that is like a mile. Yeah. I'm kind of thinking about it. I like both those bands. Story of the Year is St. Louis band. Yellow card is not, but they're really good. Some classic emo for you. What's up, guys? Today, we have not much to talk about. Yeah, we got... We've been, uh, we've been busy, guys. We've, well, I haven't been busy. That's the problem. <laughs> That's the real problem. I've been busy, some of which I will eventually talk about, some of which I won't. It's mostly today. I honestly haven't been that busy. Yeah, I was going to say, you got, you got a lot in your docket going on right now, man. But I do. There's a lot coming up. Big projects coming up. Deadlines. Stocks Just, are falling. No, stocks are rising. I'll ask you after the podcast. What's that? I'll ask you after the podcast. <laughs> I'll ask you after the podcast. After the podcast. I had a really good gravelly British voice last night. Because you, were hitting, like cause you hit, were hitting a pen. I was hitting the bab pen. Yeah. I was hitting the blinker. Yeah. I had like a... It's, I have to get like a big wad of phlegm down down uh-huh. in here, and then it's like it's really like gravelly like this. Oh, you want to pick your blood? I was doing Tommy Sh- Tommy Shelby, but I can't do it. But I wanted to. Uh, last thing so, I'll say about well, Oppenheimer, I did buy the Oppenheimer book. Oh, you did? I did. I found it. It was at Barnes and for four hundred ninety eight dollars or whatever it 27, was. Twenty seven, I think. That's not bad. Did you get it on your Kindle? No. I can't. A, I can't read on an electronic device. Can't you do it. Should get that looked at. I can't. It just. You don't sucks. even read tweets. He doesn't even read tweets. No, you I. Even read I, out loud. I actually haven't read it aloud. You have something. Your brother comes in and you're like. No, I like the auto thing, but I wow. have. You know what? Um, we'll get into this later, but um, later is in like quite a few episodes later. But they, I have my own voice read it out to me. Right. Yeah. Gavin cloned his own voice. Yeah. Uh, today we're going to be talking about some fights. We're going to be talking about fights of the week. We don't talk about fights on this show, and we're going to be talking about them. There's fight a lot night. Of, there's a lot of fights that happened this week, this past week. Roses are red. <laughs> Violets are blue. Uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> and then Gavin's got some. Tr- Gavin's got a lot of clips for us. Some Trump clips. Some other baseball clips. That's a little hint of some of the fights. Uh, also, next door drama. This week, been getting a lot of good ones. This one's a pretty good one. Uh, yeah, I will say that I feel like uh, I feel like over the summer months we get a lot better ones. Yeah, because everybody's bored. Yeah, and everybody oh bored or they're hot and they aren't drinking enough, so they're start hallucinating things. So we gotta drink more alcohol. Yeah. Uh, this one is titled "Is This Your Baby?" Ooh, ooh, we'll careful. throw a call. Ooh, <laughs> careful. Ooh, ooh, careful, careful, careful. Uh, <laughs> wow! Wow! <laughs> The gremlin just came out. Wow. Mogwai. Uh, 
Another animal related one. I just realized. We've no, had three, yeah, yeah. We've had like four animal related ones. They're great. It's, I still you, want you know, to know what the hell those were. Nobody answered my question. Yeah. Bastards. Um, I think it's because I open, I get them sent via email. Yeah. And so as soon as I open one, they just start rec- like an algorithm. Starts yeah, like recommending all the animal you. ones. So they're like, oh, this guy really likes animals. We got to get him on this website a little bit more. A lot of scary animal violence. Yeah. I've been watching on. Raccoon uh, punting. What? Yeah. Real sport. Look and that's up. really it. Uh, tell yeah. them to bring out the whole ocean. Yeah. Tell them to bring out the whole ocean. You got that? Call me asparagus. Ex- call me asparagus. Tell them to bring out the oh. whole ocean. I started a screen recording. Um, so yeah, I uh, tell me what's going on, Gavin. How are you doing? So my sleep schedule is really messed up. Um, well, I've, I've so I've been, I moved in last Monday and I haven't really worked since then. Right. I worked literally last night. That was it. You've been doing jackass. Yeah, which is nice because I have spent. This is technically my last summer ever, and we're, we're relating to school things. Mm, mm-hmm. um, also, that the world's going to burn uh, in 2036. So we never know. But um, we'll be fine. But yeah, so I was like, ah, uh, you know what? I'm just gonna take the next like month off. Yeah. You know, basically. So I asked off that money to move in. And inver- I didn't even know I was moving in that day, but I was like, can I just have off that day? Mm-hmm. Um, and so I've just kind of been sleeping, play video games, chilling, you know. And during that chilling time, I read a 472 tape, 472 page book. Uh, uh, I randomly checked out from the library, literally on a whim. I just picked it up. Um, went to the library to look, um, to find a couple books someone had recommended to me. Um, and also see if they had the Oppenheimer book that maybe I could check out. Mm. Um, and I was looking for a certain book. I was like, uh, their eyes were watching God by Zora Neale Hurston. Um, who, I th- who I think we learned about in school or, you know, she was, say it sounds familiar. yeah, yeah. I, I think we talked about her. At least she came up in black history month a couple of times, but she's a black writer, uh, who this book, I think this bu- book was published in like 1937. So it's a pretty old book. Um, and so I was looking for it. It's a, not a very big book, but it was kind of in the shelf. So I was looking for it and looking around and I see like the shelf of like a very similarly typefaced, like all the same author, just very similar. Like, Oh, this is like. Um, it looked like maybe it was a series or mm. maybe it was like, it was the same author and the same style and stuff like that. So I was like, ah, I kind of want to look at this. So I went and looked at it and, uh, picked up this one randomly called dead sleep. Uh, and it was really good. The back, the back of the book, uh, back, the back cover kind of, um, the summary really reeled me in. It was about, um, a photographer working on a book and she's in Hong Kong working on her book. And she goes in the art gallery and sees a picture, sees a painting with her face on it. Oh. And her sister went missing 13 months ago, so it could also be her sister. So it was like, join along for the ride to figure out what yeah. goes on with that. And it was fiction book. Yeah. Okay. It was really, really good. Uh, it, I will say the only drawback was that it was, uh, it was a white male author writing about a white male or white female uh, main character, which is always kind of like, nah. They don't really get it right. Uh, like, there's very much like it's always yeah. like they're always like yeah. these women are so full of themselves. And right. t- like they're always right like that. Yeah. Um. And so anyway, the book was really good and had kind of like a fucked up ending kind of thing where it's like the mm. the yeah it, like multiple personality disorder like type like stuff going on. But it was really good. It was really good. It was enthralling. Um, it was written before to written before nine eleven, so like oh. there was like no real technology. Sorry, sorry, people over the age of like thirty. Um, there was no like, tele. There was no like you know cell phones, no like internet that you could go to at your house. You know there was nothing like that. There was a time where that was a thing. Yeah, I know. You better believe it. If I don't even know what a printer is, we can't write a check. We can't write. We can't balance a checkbook. Um, Somebody was talking about a fax machine recently. I don't know what that is. Yeah, me neither. I can't balance a checkbook. I I'm all off. Yeah, I get really off. But um, it was a really good book. So, uh, Dead Sleep by Greg Isles, really good. That's good. Read it all in like three days. What you reading this week? <laughs> yeah, what you reading this week? This week I read Dead Sleep by Greg Isles. It was really good though. If that was a segment, I would be recommending the same thing every week, even though I don't usually touch books for months at a time. Yeah, good. You don't need to. I'm reading the... Uh, Grammar book? No, I finished that. You did? On vacation. And then I started... 
a book that's sitting over there and the name escapes me, but it's about the uh, Picasso piece that was stolen from the St. Louis Art Museum. Oh. And it's written by- True crime? Yes. It is real. It's a real real thing that happened. Uh, And it's written by a friend of a- a a friend of a friend's mom. Cool. From St. Louis. Nice. But it's cool. And I haven't touched it since vacation, though. Well, you're a busy boy. I can't recommend it. Sorry. It's interesting so far, though. Uh, Yeah. So, also, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but Charter is also notorious for their bad customer service. Here we go. Here's another thing I see on Nextdoor Nextdoor all the Uh, time. Charter and AT&T. Especially Charter. Especially Charter, though. So, I called and it wasn't actually that bad. The people were really friendly. It wasn't that bad. Because you need them for internet. Where yeah, I need them in internet for where my for my my apartment is. So because I have the same name as my father, they Here kept they kept saying, "Let me, can I get your address real quick, just to make sure I got it?" Mm-hmm. And they always said it just like that. In that same phrasing, there was like four people that right. said it just like that, um, or like four times they asked me, and they're like, "Okay, good, just make it sure." Oh. And uh, so then. Um, I was trying to cancel with the TV service because they're charging me for it. I and the and I download the TV app to see like just what channels are you, you know what channels maybe yeah. baseball maybe MLB, uh, maybe NHL, ESPN, anything. No, it's yeah. all like drama channels. It's all awful, awful entertainment. Who? Yeah. TV. Yeah. It's it just, cozy. Yeah. Shit like that that I could just get from over the air stuff. Yeah. Um, and so I was like, I call, I called, and they. Um, I called and, you know, asked them to, to cancel it and they're, and they, tra- they're like, oh, we're going to have to transfer you to customer service for that. I'm like, okay, sounds good. And I sat there for like two minutes and then they, they're like, all right, can I get your uh, address real quick? All right. Uh, and you wanted to cancel the TV service? And I'm like, yeah. He's like, okay. And the 30 yeah. day trial. Uh, and I, and I forgot to ask him, like, I, I don't want to pay for it this month. Right. Are they going to charge me for it? I think right. I have to pay for it. I don't know. I'll have to call them back, I think. I would hope not. Yeah, because I, I mean, I, yeah, like, I added like sure. an extra $25 to my bill. I don't want to yeah. pay $25 a month for TV I won't watch. I would make sure that they take it off. Because they didn't take it off yet. So I'd make sure they would. That is really funny. You bring up like the, <laughs> it's something that you don't, you don't really think about, but it is a really funny thing with like having to talk to people who are in call centers. Yeah. And they always do the, okay, let me just check. Okay, we're looking through this. Yeah, they do. Yeah. They, they, um, oh, no. They, 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 I think that sometimes, one time she clicked on something wrong. She's like, oh, no, that's not what I'm looking for. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh. Yeah, she was like, uh, she's like, she's like, okay, I see that you did this. <laughs> <laughs> you can hear they're talking with yeah, a yeah, smile. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 She's, like, she's like, yeah, I can, I can see, I can see you did that. So that's good. You did a security check. That's good. I just want to be like, you don't have to smile. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, you. I'm like, really? It's the, I'm not even smiling, by the way. <laughs> I dare you to say you should stop smiling. <laughs> I can hear like, you smiling. Can you shut the fuck up? No, just tell them you can see them smiling. I can see you smiling. <laughs> <laughs> they like. Look you know, around. there's people. Not to change subjects, just real quick tangentially. There's people who can see you while you're on the phone. Yes, <laughs> they can see you while you're whacking your wiener. Wow. Uh, there's guys who like. They get they like print they like prank scam callers. Uh huh. And will like literally pull up their like, like house cameras yeah. at the call center and they'll like do that and they'll like post it and everything and it's crazy. Yeah, I have seen that. Yeah. I haven't watched any of them just because like that stuff I, I can't it's hard for me to watch stuff like that because I get so uncomfortable. You know what? You know what else I also started to take a not a liking to, but an uh-huh. interest to is people getting audited. <laughs> What? <laughs> because we could like people like lost. like signing up to like have like a financial financial uh, aid person or financial yeah. like financier look at your finances and be like you fucked up or like oh, oh you you are bad and at there's content that yeah. this happens mm-hmm. on yeah there's like a guy like, who's like around our age that does like people sign up and send him like their bills and stuff like that and they're like help me and then he mm-hmm. he like invites him to his house or his office and then is like. He's like, yeah. Uh, how did you do this? Or uh, like, you know, all this stuff. Like that. I, I thought it was it was pretty good content. Uh, I that, I need stuff like that because I need to know what I'm doing wrong. Yeah, or what I could yeah, exactly. Do wrong. Yeah, and it's but there's that. there's a lot to be there's there's also like the same thing about like uh, kind of like a Jordan Peterson type in the in that financial mm-hmm. area too. There's a guy that takes phone calls and 
is very like, well, see, this is what you got to do. It's like this bald guy with a goatee and glasses. You know who, you know who I'm talking about. Probably. I, yeah. If you saw him, this it, I, he can be kind of problematic, I guess. But the content that yeah. he puts on TikTok is very filtered. So. There's there's people like that. I I, I kind of know. Well, what they act like about. holier than thou about it, and it's like, <laughs> yeah, well, no way is really above money, is it? Are you right. thou? You know right. what I mean? But yeah, that was another thing I I took a liking to. But yeah, yeah. Uh, the, but yeah. Anyway, so uh, I got to call him back again, I think, and yeah. try and get okay. them to actually take it off my. Okay, Mr. Bill. Gavin, we're gonna be yeah. taking care of that right now. Yeah, that that's the other thing is that I probably could have used my middle name, but I was like, yeah, yeah. And I'm like I I'm like you know what, they'll they'll find me. I always like trying to pick up on what the people in the background of the call center are saying. Yeah, we're gonna. Get, what do you guys want for lunch? You guys, what do you want? You just hear everybody talking yeah. and a bunch of beeps, and you're like, "What is going on there?" Why like are you Willy Wonka's chocolate shop? Why are you? Why are you the way you are? I just don't. I just don't understand. What the hell are you talking? What about? the hell is going on? So yeah. Uh, picked up some new books to read too so i picked up the oppenheimer book i picked up mm-hmm. um a post-apocalyptic post-apocalyptic book called the road okay which i've seen the i think i've i think i checked it out once before sometime in the past i don't think i ever read it but i had it okay. on a library card somewhere at some point somewhere You're talking about the road the road jesse james no by like oh. cormac mccarthy i think his name was Whoa. yeah he's the one uh, that makes the spices yeah mccormick McCormack sounds like somebody who would be a basketball player in the 90s. Yeah, or 60s. Yeah, I think 90s. <laughs> okay. Uh, and uh, How to Sell a Haunted House by Grady Hendrix. What's That's that That's a brand, about? brand new one. Or it's like they... they it's like it, we bought it, a zoo? No. It's okay. like they inherited... Their parents died. Or their mom died and they inherited a house and the house is like haunted. Okay. They're going to yeah. be like they inherited a haunted house. No, yeah. But it <laughs> sounds like, it, sounds it. like it gets pretty like gory and like pretty fucked up in there. Okay. So I'm like, all right, I'll, 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 I'll read it. Speaking of gory and fucked up, you know what I'm excited to What's see? What's that? I think I'm going to see it next Tuesday. By oh, the yeah. The, the A24 movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think I'm seeing that next Tuesday. Yeah. So we all have to and with anyone? Wednesday. Yes. Oh, fuck. God damn it. Why? Did you want to go? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, shit. My dad was talking about it. He said he might want to go. Well, if we, we still, yeah. well, then go see your dad, dude. Yeah, don't. don't. I'll, I'll have to go. I'll, 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 I'll. I don't need I'll, you. I'll intimidate him. I don't about need it. you hanging around. I'll interrogate him about it. Yeah, sit him down, strap him, strap put him, him down. in that swing. Yeah, that swing. Should I send you a picture of that? Should I send you yeah, that maybe picture? we should pull that up and talk. Yeah, about so it. that that was the other I, thing. I wanted to. Uh, I'm excited to go see that movie. Talk to me. I've heard is really good. I have seen now, Gavin. You've seen Hereditary now. <laughs> That's I've not seen that angle. You've seen Hereditary now. I've been seeing a lot of people say it is scary. I saw so again. I I don't. There's like five people who I constantly bring up on this show, and it sounds so annoying. But for some reason, they just always have good takes or good music takes. But Isaac Hale of Knocked Loose, who mm-hmm. I think I've brought up two weeks in a row now posted on his story after seeing talk to me and said hereditary has ruined all horror movies from like here on out because nothing will be as scary as that and he was like seven out of ten yeah talk to me so it is really scary but like it's still nothing holds a candle to yeah hereditary. which is fine i, I mean, that's fine. fine I think hereditary too. is about as good of a movie as you can get if anything beats that then i will be not sleeping for a couple of weeks because that yeah movie hereditary me messed me for a week it's still one of my favorite movies though that's it's but it, yeah but i'm excited to see that um and you're you are too why why are you all of a sudden like i want to go well, see I, well, spencer wants to go see it too yeah so i was like talk to him uh well i saw well i remember we you sent it like whenever they first like announced that it was being like developed mm. or something like that i'm like okay i'll I'm like, okay, yeah. But I, I saw also, a trailer and I was like, this looks fucking scary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I'm like, I I think that was the reason why. Because I was like, oh, yeah, I said I wanted to go watch that a while ago. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, I should probably just go watch it. Yeah. But I still need to watch fucking Barbie. Yeah, you do. <sighs> you do. My mom's seeing it tonight. Only career expo dedicated to energy sector. I want to see that too. Yeah. <laughs> My mom is seeing it tonight before really? you. Wow, well, yeah. With Quinn's mom. Oh, wow, they look yeah. like Barbie girls. I don't think they wore pink, though, so they're going to get kicked out. Yeah, I'm going to wear my button-down pink shirt. Do you know where your pink underwear? The ones that I like. 
Yeah. You can wear that little thing I like today. <laughs> yeah, uh, maybe. What about it? Okay, let's talk about let's talk about the dog's sex swing. <laughs> <laughs> so gavin has uh, well you tell the story why am i so, even trying to okay it? so i guess this is i've seen this before i've seen it on t- uh, if you want to see it you got to watch the video version because i will right be showing it on screen this is, right now uh, this is pretty good so uh i've seen this before but it's like this harness that you put on your dog to hold them up or hang them <laughs> or hang them uh, hang them hang you, them by their neck you, you put it over their. you put it you put their legs in the holes and you hang them up by a pole or <laughs> now let me ask that's is a broom. That a broom handle? Yeah, yep. it's a broom. That's yeah. what I was gonna say. Um, and our dogs are really bad about clipping their nails. They yelp and. I can't believe you guys do it for them. What do you mean? I don't think we do that. I think they get it done at the vet or at the. Oh yeah, we do spa. it just because like we we have like hard but your floors. Your mom's got experience. Yeah, we have like hard hardwood floor, and my mom. Yeah, my mom actually right. does go over like my grandma and my aunt's and clips it. Right, up, she so. knows what she's doing. She knows what she's doing, but our dogs clip like clip clap on our tile, so it's like yeah, kind I mean, of annoying. What do you think I hear all day long? Yeah, that's if you clip them short enough without like hurting their nails or bleed yeah. everywhere. I'd like to do that to my my dad because he wears dress shoes all day. Yeah, and I hear him. He sounds. I, t- I tell him he sounds like a horse. Yeah, and I like to clip his feet right off. Yeah, you think your mom could do that? I could make some arrangements, but yeah. So, um, put the dog in and we hang him up. Um, uh, they we my mom sits down and we clip their nails. And what did? Now, which one is this? Is this, this is Everett. This is Everett. What yeah. did he think of this? Uh, he kept squirming. Like he kept, oh, he like, was squirming. That's yeah, what I was squirm- yeah. But we gave him some peanut butter, and he he's peanut got butter and some ketamine. He's got a little pea brain. He's got a smooth brain or something. Uh-huh. He's he's fucked up in a way. I don't know what's wrong with him, but he's great though. I yeah, he it. sucks. Um, <laughs> worst dog in planet Earth. Uh, Wait, really? No. Uh, oh. but I he's the dog I like have like a beef with when I come home from college because because he he he's a little weird guy. But anyway, so. Um, he, he can't, he also doesn't like being picked up. His arms go stiff. So, um, I, his brain's just small. I don't know. So he, what, my mom was clipping his nails. We gave him peanut butter and he couldn't, he was like, oh yeah, no, I can't squirm anymore. I'm getting peanut butter. Yeah. He's like, oh shit. He's like, this is good. He can only do one thing at a time. I was trying to remember what I said to you. What did I say? I messaged you about it. Oh, I didn't save. I don't know. I said something. I said put. I said we put him in the contraption. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The like, <laughs> the the COVID one where they're saying the the dick sucking. <laughs> yeah, the dick sucking fact. Yeah, they got put in the contraption. But if you're listening <laughs> and you're not gonna watch it, I, the best way I can describe it is a dog sex swing. <laughs> it's it, that's a dog <laughs> sex swing. Yeah, it just looks like you put your your dog. It, it's like you put your dog in one of those like a baby holes. swings. Yeah, where their legs go through the holes. Yeah. And it made me laugh really hard because you just posted on your Snapchat story, and I was no like, context, yeah, no context, no no caption. I don't even think. I and think I you just put it. it on there. I wanted that to be an album cover. It could be. It could be. Okay, let's move. On. Let's let's um. Shall we jump into these fights? Shall we get yeah. into fight night? So we're big fans of fights over here, Gavin. I know you are. Yeah, we. This is our UFC podcast. I'm gonna start from so only one of them. I'm gonna show the clip of uh, potentially for copyright, but for another reason because i don't think the other one's that interesting and maybe we'll start with that one because that might be the longest debate out of them all so there was a everybody's seen it so it's yeah that's the other reason too that it's like i don't need to show it nothing new folks is that there was a it's what's being called the montgomery riverboat brawl i think is what it's being called there was a the story goes that there were these white trash um, Hicks. hooligan hicks that ha- were on their pontoon boat down in Montgomery. Right. And they parked their boat, and then the security guard, who was black, which is important to the story in my opinion, was told them, you guys got to move your boat. And they were like, no. And then they left. And then... Because there was a ferry coming in, there was, or I think it was a ferry, a riverboat mm-hmm. was coming in to riverboat casino, right, coming in to dock, and they went didn't move it. So this, this, from what I know, the security guard starts untying it to move it. They come back and they jump him, for literally trying, jump him, literally jump him. And there's people on the riverboat filming this as as it happens. There's also people on shore filming it, and so it literally is just it's a bunch of white dudes 
beating up, up a, a black guy. A black guy. Which is already not people a good like look. that run down too, and they're like, yeah, yeah. So people start coming in. It's like five or six of them. A bunch of people. There's yeah. people. There's one guy who jumps off of the boat and swims, swims to over shore yeah. to fight them, and then so they obviously beat their ass and and their girlfriends' <laughs> ass or girlfriend or wives, yeah. whatever. And they just look like the white people just look like the trashiest. Disgusting what do you expect? people. <laughs> what do you expect if you're on a pontoon boat on the weekend? And somebody posted a picture from, and I won't show this, but posted a picture from one of those, the people on the pontoon boat's Facebook of them that they posted like before this happened. And it was, yeah, it was just like, I could, if it, if somebody told me that was Lake of the Ozarks, which oh, is, oh, wait, was that Missouri, the guy, was that the guy whose name was Jack Sessions? I don't know, maybe. Or Jack Session. It could be. I think it, I think it was or so. It's a public person. You yeah. can say that. So. I think it, I think it was uh it's almost like bro's name is Jack Session. <laughs> that's pretty great if it is. Yeah. Not to throw out any fake news if that's not true, but uh if somebody would have told me that was Lake of the Ozarks, which is a local place here in Missouri uh, where lo- local trashy, watering hole. Local watering hole where tr- the trashiest of people go to get drunk yeah. all day and get leathered skin if somebody would have told me that was happening there i would have believed it because that's just that's what it did look like it yeah very much there's a lot of marinas down there too right but good on those people for jumping in to do that and you know there's funny mo- there's like funny moments of a guy hitting people over the head with a chair yeah <laughs> that was there's pretty good bizarre and like the the security guard like takes his glasses off and takes like, his hat off yeah yeah takes it yeah he throws it like uh bobby Shmurda. literally like oh yeah he literally throws it like yeah that. But so every and and it's like it's it's funny. I think the circumstances of it are funnier than the actual yeah, fight. Yeah. But people were losing their mind about this fight, and I was like, I watched all of the angles. I watched the seven. There was a seven minute version of it posted. Yeah. That somebody was like, this, <laughs> they released the Snyder cut of it, <laughs> and I've watched it, and I just don't think it's that interesting of a fight. Yeah, like, it's really I think, not. It's just kind of like, oh yeah. man, I wish this, wish it was a little bit quicker. Yeah, it's just they built it up so much, whereas, like, the funniest part of it is just the circumstances of the whole yeah. thing. The fight wasn't that great. <laughs> Nobody really, like, threw it. It wasn't that good of a fight. Nobody was fighting yeah. well. But, yeah, it was just, I, I don't know. I just don't think it was that crazy. But it was one of the fights of the week, so we got to talk about it. <clears throat> so, any anything you want to say about it? Is that right? Is it Jack Sessions? Yeah, it is. <laughs> That's awesome. Jack Sessions. Don't read the... Wait. Mary... <laughs> wait, I have to read it. Mary Elizabeth Todd? Isn't that who married Lincoln? Yeah. <laughs> isn't that literally her name? Ja- Mary Elizabeth Todd and Jack Sessions. <laughs> <laughs> I used to walk, watch Jack Sessions gaming videos all the time. But he was a relative of former U.S. Attorney General Jeff Sessions. Oh, I know who Jeff Sessions. Yeah, is. yeah. That's why I like. That's why I was like, is it Jack Sessions? But yeah, it is Mary Elizabeth Todd. No, it's Mary, Mary Todd. Ann. Mary Todd. Wait. Mary Todd Lincoln. But her middle name. Hold on, I just saw it. It said Mary Ann. I thought. Yeah, Mary Ann Todd Lincoln. Damn it. Oh, she was a looker, wasn't she? Everybody back then was. They didn't have the selected for breeding stuff. They were all Greta Gerwig's back then. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I really, I had like, um, I had like a, this past week I've been dreading the way I brought, the way I, I Talk shifted about, the conversation yeah. of that last week. So if anybody from that, nobody has said anything about it, but I did not mean to bring up her looks as like a thing. Gavin <laughs> was not bringing that up either, but I thought he was. And so I immediately was, I was like, saying, I don't know, like a normal she looks person. okay, dude. <laughs> I was like, she just looks like dude. a normal person. Yeah, and I was like, oh, dude, she looks fine, dude. I don't know. She's not that attractive, <laughs> which I didn't mean. I, I don't know why my brain immediately went to that. I think it just went into, like, defense mode where I needed to, like, make sure that wasn't what Gavin was saying. <laughs> it wasn't at all. But that's yeah, where that's, it went. Uh, and I apologize for bringing that up because I so didn't So Jack Sessions, to. if you look him up, he's... Uh, and Mary Todd Lincoln. Mary Todd. Mary Todd Elizabeth. <laughs> That's amazing. That's, those are some great names. Uh, yeah. Oh. That's East Coast. I feel like that's East Coast naming. Yeah, probably. That's not like Midwestern stuff. That's like East Coast type stuff because you're all related to you know someone in politics somewhere. They're all related to each other. They're all related to each other over there. We guys, I gotta hold his lifeline. Gavin's what? Gavin. Gavin's what's holding me up nowadays. Yeah. He's the only thing I got going. 
Um, so the next fight, the next low tier fight, we're gonna we're gonna doing these undercard. In, we're doing these in order of best, yeah, of worst to best. Yeah. Uh, the next one is the Jake Paul Nate Diaz fight, which Gavin, I don't, I watched. I don't, I don't pine you for much of a UFC fan. No, but um, my friend Will uh, from college and I watched a lot of fights in undergrad. Mm. Just about like probably about once a month, there was like one big fight that we'd watch. So you know about it then. Yeah, no, I don't really keep track of it, but it was always yeah. like, uh, like, it is Sonya and McGregor, and uh, there was that one fight with that really big fat guy. I forgot his name. Butterball. Butter no, Bean? not Butterball. Not Butterball. Um, shoot, he's like, uh, just a big heavy guy. He was like six seven. He's just a big guy. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I remember watching that fight. I think we watched Itasanya probably three times. That mm. big, like, really long, uh, lanky black guy. Yeah. Itasanya. Israel? I think his name's Israel Itasanya or something yeah. like that. Is that the one who does the... Yeah, I, I think so, yeah. I think that's him. But, I don't know. Yeah, we, I watched, I've watched a lot Yeah, recently in the last, like, five You've years. You've probably watched more than I do, because I was going to say, I've always had, like, an interest in UFC stuff, like, even since just, being young. It happens so late. Yeah, and I it just I like don't eleven o'clock at night on Saturday right. night. Right, I don't keep track of who's who really. Yeah, I mean, like it's hard for me to. You know more than I do. Like I, I just know I didn't even know Jake Paul. Games. It said Jake Paul's uh, Jake Paul's uh, record was six and one. I didn't know he got knocked out. Um, I don't know if I knew that either. Yeah, but Nate Diaz, UFC fighter, was... thirty eight by the way. Yeah, old as usual, as per most of Jake Paul's opponents yeah which he's been called out for many times um great ufc fighter i i believe it was either him or nick which is his brother uh got kicked out of the ufc for uh testing positive for marijuana which they've now taken it back they're they're that they fought for that and it went away so that's not a thing anymore but they don't fight ufc anymore at least not as of right now and, and so, this was a you know, boxing match. Now put him in boxing. Like Jake, like I said, Ben Askren, another one. Yeah. Who's a disc golfer, by the way. Uh, you know, he's just taking all the retired UFC fighters who have no experience boxing, which is a completely different sport yeah. entirely. Still, uh, they could probably beat my ass. Right. Especially when you're fighting like people who grapple yeah. on the ground and aren't really like good with their fists. Not saying that Nate isn't, but I think Ben Nate- was more of a grappler, if I'm not. Oh, this, a wrestler. Nate Diaz did grapple a couple times in this though. He, he did. He which like I thought was really laid funny. his whole body weight, and I can I that just that would tire me out if I was boxing. Yeah, he put he he did put Jake in a headlock, at, in I think in the ninth round, and we then were he, outside and then he, like, from threw like his round. hands up and started cheering, <laughs> just to, like as a joke. There was yeah, you could tell that Nate didn't really want to be there. No, he just wanted the money. Yeah, just like Ben Ben Askren. They asked him right after. He's like, I don't care that I got knocked out. Yeah. He's like, yeah, it's embarrassing, but like, I'm getting like a million dollars from yeah. this. I don't care. I would feel the same way. Who gives a shit? Yeah. I like, it was just like. It'd be fun to beat the, up on some, you know, bratty kid who's doing crypto scams and shit. Yeah. Even though I think that might be his brother. Yeah. They're both involved in they're, it. So. They're I think they both have crypto scams, yeah. actually. Um, yeah. And like. The, also, Nate Diaz is like just demeanor during the whole fight was very like I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I mean that's how he always is. But I, I like Nate Diaz a lot. I, both the Diaz brothers are really funny and good fighters. But yeah, again, another fight that was just I mean you watched it. Yeah, how we watched was it? Uh, I didn't the watch first the like six thing. rounds. We saw him get mm-hmm. knocked down and then we went outside. Yeah, that was um, probably the most interesting part of it. I think. That, yeah, and, it was and like, then the headlock. But. Yeah, I was like this is bad. This is a really boring fight. Yeah, yeah, went quick, but it was just dumb i right. didn't know it was gonna be 10 rounds i thought it was maybe five six. Oh yeah because he's they're all pro fights now so yeah so they go the full length of it but yeah again another fight that was kind of like eh but they, they're they apparently going to do a full ufc match i don't know if you heard that part at the end no nate challenged him to do a an actual ufc match and not, i don't know if it'll be ufc but mma i should yeah. say uh so apparently that will happen which i think will be interesting because I don't, Jake, as I far as I know, Jake, Jake is, has never uh, done one. MMA trained. He did wrestling. I think he, like, wrestled throughout high school and uh, maybe in yeah, college. I okay. think. Could be wrong on that. Did he go to college? Probably not. I don't, uh, know, I don't know why I said that. At least in high school, I think he did. Yeah. I could be getting all of that wrong. I am not a fan. Yeah. 
Uh, the next fight, the one we are actually going to watch a clip of, is the Jose Ramirez versus Tim Anderson fight that happened during a Chicago White Sox game. Yeah, versus in, the, uh, in Cleveland. Versus the Cleveland, at the Cleveland Garden Stadium. Progressive field. Here it comes. Ooh, that's loud. A swing and a smash. That might get popular. Yes, sure. We'll talk. Second. I'll keep it down. So Ramirez slides in kind of hot, kind of hard, and says something to Tim. Tim Anderson puts down his glove and starts swinging at him, and then Ramirez hits him with a nasty right hook mm -hmm. and knocks him on his feet. Knocks him. Yeah, that's the best part of it. Yeah. Down goes Anderson. So I'll see if they show a better angle of it. I don't think they do. Yeah, they this, do. But I don't think they do here. Oh, okay. But the best part is Tim Anderson at the he, end. He can't walk. <laughs> he cannot walk. They're holding him up. Anderson got suspended six games, and Ramirez got some suspended three. Mm -hmm. I thought it was even – I might have been two. It was two or three. But, yeah, so Ramirez absolutely knocked him on his ass. Uh, allegedly, uh, in interviews before, Ramirez – uh, Jose Ramirez is like a 30 he's like the oldest person in the Guardians by the way mm. um, they have a very young team uh, he's plays third base for them to switch hitter 5'9 uh, short mm. guy um, for a baseball player right I will say um, but in Puerto Rico or Dominican Republic he used to get chased after his baseball games there because he if he didn't get a hit because people oh, would shit. put money down on him mm -hmm. they're like oh yeah this guy's gonna get a hit they'd chase him if he didn't damn yeah so like and apparently he's not much of like a Fight, like he's not really much of a hothead. No, he's a very I chilled guy, guy. Yeah, he's very. I mean, I think he's funny too. Yeah, he, you know, and it was it. obviously started by Anderson. Yeah, he threw, Anderson he threw is, up. He uh, threw him up. Anderson is like, uh, it, he belongs in the White Sox. I'll tell you that much. Okay. He he's White Sox culture. Which, by the way, I I I like the White Sox. No, no, no I I yeah. do too. They're just terrible this season. So yeah, like yeah. everybody was just making taking shots of the White Sox, and everybody was like, yeah, we know yeah. Jerry Reinsdorf sucks. Yeah, you know. Um. But yeah, they they uh, not the first time Anderson's gotten into fights with people at oh, all. Oh really? Yeah, he's he's. I don't he's know got, anything about him. He hasn't gotten in like fist fights, but he has gotten mm -hmm. in like piss matches and just like you know. They're uh, pissing on the field. Yeah, they're pissing on the field and benches clearing and stuff like that. He gets yeah. his, he gets those benches cleared pretty quickly. Well, he cleared pretty. Quickly I, I guess too. also yeah. Um, also, in adding a little bit more context to it, um, I guess their catcher Yasmani Grunt. You good? You just had a little. Uh, their catcher, Yasmani Grandal, um, also said he didn't want to be there anymore during a practice or something like that. And then <laughs> Tim Anderson was like, fuck him. I'll pay for his fucking plane. What? I don't. Why so aggressive? I don't know. He just, he just hates. I don't want to be here anymore. I don't want to be here. So that's our, that concludes our segment of Fights of the Week. Mm -hmm. Those are the best fights we saw this week. I don't think there's, there's like the Kai Sinat stuff that I thought about talking about. Yeah, that would kind of be kind of included in the fight. It was with the, a PS5 giveaway, right? It was like a PS5, and or apparently like there's PC like gamer. PCs and a bunch of other stuff. None of it happened, and apparently he didn't have a permit. A lot of people, well, some people are giving him shit for it, understandably, which I think he deserves. But I think that people are like, he needs to be put in jail. He, this needs to be an example. I'm like, okay, chill out. We need to we need to put you know. It's an internet influencer. He didn't know that there right. was gonna be that many people. Like, yeah, he has a large audience, but it's like you, that's across the whole globe. Right. You know that that many people are watching. You wouldn't think that that many people would pop out. Right. And this is the person you want to put in jail. Yeah. Like, what are you even saying? Like, that's so insane for people of, to say. of all the streamers out there that have done more shit or anybody. <laughs> Not this even is the guy. But yeah, you're right. Out of all the streamers. Cause I think he's a. I don't know much about him, but I think he's a good guy. Seems like a good dude. He's, he's like had he's some doing a good thing. He's had some complicated issues. He that, has. I yeah. see. I have no idea. But um, he's had some some issues, but not like huge. Like mm -hmm. he's a pedophile, or you know, he's he's a right. rapist, or nothing right. like that. It's all just I mean, kind of like yeah, he yeah. was dealing with. Weird, he didn't deal with anybody, but he has like friends that do shady shit, and it's like mm. he should unassociate himself with them. But yeah, that makes sense. It's, I can get that. It's every. It's whatever. Do you want to click on these videos? Yeah. Okay. We'll watch them. So, I'm gonna pull up the. So first, first we're moving one. On to Gavin's, we're moving on. This to might get. Of the week. This might get copywritten. That's okay. 
Um, but it's not on Twitter, so I, I mean, we'll see. But so this Orioles announcer was basically just reading the stats, um, saying that the Orioles have been really bad at the Tampa Bay Rays Stadium, mm -hmm. uh, Tropicana Park. Uh, they've been really bad. They're like, oh, for 16 there, they've lost their last three series there. They haven't won a series since like May, won a series versus the race since like May this year, or like May 2016 or something like that. And the guy, and the uh, Orioles are first in the East right now. Right. In the AL East. So the race is very tight between the Orioles and the Rays right now. They're, they're back and forth between first and second place. Um, and the guy basically is just saying that Orioles are shit versus the Rays. Okay. And they have been historically. Okay. That's basically all he says. And the Orioles owner like suspended him indefinitely. They're mm. like, do not come back. Right. Like immediately after immediately following this. He didn't like immediately following this game, they never returned. So I have not seen this. I, I heard about this. I don't even know what he says, so this will be a first for me to hear this. For the Orioles, Brandon Hyde has felt like this has been maybe the toughest ballpark to play in. But the Orioles have a chance to do something special today. They've Already clinched at least a split in the series, winning two of the first three, and they could pick up a series win behind Tyler Wells today. It's been a minute. The Orioles split a two-gamer with the Rays in June. They had lost their last 15 series here at Tropicana Field. You have to go back to when our now colleague Brad Brock picked up the win in the series finale June 25th. 2017, the last time the Orioles won a series here at St. Pete. Already got three and two of the top this year after winning three of 18. The previous three years combined. It is a stark difference, Ben, and it is not a bad Rays team. It's not like all of a sudden the no. Rays uh, became slouches in the American League. Nervous. They've led this division every day, but now two, and the Orioles once again are back alone in first place. Yeah. For the That's Orioles, it. Brandon Hyde has felt like That's all I said. This he didn't has been say made. the N-word. He didn't say, <laughs> didn't say anything racist or anti-gay or nothing. Yeah, I mean, it... It's a surging thing, Orioles team, for the record. They're, they're, this is probably the best record in like <clears throat> six years, five years. Right. Um, but, I mean, the only thing I will say about it is it's a... it's Also, the title of it was Trop... Trop... Trop Ecole Depression. Because it's the Tropicana. Oh, it really said that? Yeah, it's a tropical... Yeah, I mean, that's the only thing I will say is it is a little... It's a little bit... Negative. It's a little bit, like, too negative. Yeah. For if you are an announcer for that team... It'd be different <laughs> if he was a on, Rays announcer. Right, exactly. Then it would make sense. That's the only thing I would say because you don't... I've never really, like... I mean, I hear sports announcers for, like, the Cardinals, yeah. St. Louis Cardinals criticizing something going on mm -hmm. but it's usually like that and in that's the moment it. yeah it's in the moment yeah but i don't hear them every night being like well we're probably gonna get another loss tonight because we're at this place again like yeah it, you don't hear that so that's the only thing i can understand but to be suspended indefinitely yeah they cut them out unless there's something that's happened before yeah that that's what i'm saying know. i'm like maybe there was something behind the scenes or something before that had right. happened but but yeah, that's that's it was an interesting thing that happened in the baseball world, and people were rightfully upset about it because you know people, I guess, love them in in Maryland. They love their white. They love their white guy. Yeah, answer. yeah, they do. <laughs> he looks I, like I will say he's like fourteen, but sounds like a forty year old. Yeah. So this one um, is a clip of a twenty thousand dollar like agriculture drone that was supposed. To, I think it's supposed to like map your field. And, okay. you know, uh, keep track of the field and the tills and, you know, mm -hmm. the nutrients and stuff, rotates, all that stuff like that. So it scans the field, from my understanding. Okay. Uh, just go ahead and play the clip. I it's, have seen this. Yeah. So they're, to set this up, if you're listening on audio, you they're like on a, seen They're this. on a road. They're on a active road. Like a highway. Setting a ginormous drone off. It's huge. Massive drone. And it's a pretty quick clip. Like a four, it's like a, no audio, it's like a four propeller um, drone, big. Drone. Yeah. Double, dual propeller. On quad. Quad. Quad propeller. So it's like about to take off and get slammed into by a truck. <laughs> like, how, I just don't, how do you not look to see that's coming? The only thing I can think is like, if it malfunctioned and wasn't supposed to go up, but it seemed pretty intentional. Yeah. But it is possible for that to happen. I haven't seen anybody actually saying whether that happened or not. How but, do I, how do my buddy Eric? It did, yeah. I remember you were telling me about that. But yeah, uh, funny either way. <laughs> this very expensive drone and it's gone. Is just gone. 
So these next two clips are I, uh, Donald Trump was in. Uh, where was he? It's about a hundred. Well, not yet. Not yet, Trump. He was in. Where was he? Uh, Wyndham, New Hampshire. Okay. Yeah, it says right there, Wyndham, New Hampshire. Uh, and he's doing a rally there, I guess. Okay. I'm going to play it. It's about 110 degrees in this room. Nice job with the air conditioning, whoever. But <laughs> the cheering. He is sweating like a pig. But you yeah. know what the press will say? You know what the, they'll say? Trump didn't look well. He was extremely wet. It's extremely 104 wet. or That's five degrees in this room. It's about 110 and degrees in this room. There's another clip underneath really? it. Nice. Wet. There's another clip underneath the, um, underneath that tweet. What the hell? What is? Ha nope. Go back to that oh, tweet. There's a there's a duel yeah, there's on a, the same one. Yeah. Um the, scroll down. Yeah, right there. Look at this. <laughs> it's like ten seconds. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Never seen never seen him uh <laughs> take his jacket out. That's it. That's it. Kinda, it kinda made me feel some type of way. Yeah. I want to see it again. Ooh. <laughs> Slim down there in that Ooh. 30 second. Wow. He's showing it off. Yeah. We don't get to see that. So this is also uh, later in the, the next clip. Next <laughs> clip is later on in the rally. Um, he it's, it's the same thing where he's like, I would never say meatball Ron. I'd never call him that kind of thing. Okay. Going on here. Saying the thing he's already said, yeah. but saying he didn't say it. Saying it in a different line. Just, just play a clip. Who's good? No, no, Christie's he's eating right now. He can't be bothered. <laughs> Playing the classics here. Of course. Sir, please do not call him a fat pig. That's very disrespectful. Don't call him. See, I'm, I'm trying to be nice. Don't call him a fat pig. You can't do it. Can't do it. You can't do that. So now, because you're not allowed to do that, and therefore oh, teeth fell uh, we're out not going to do it, okay? We want to be very civil, right? So, the ladies, <laughs> who's good? So, yeah, but it's no, like the, no, Chris, he's, he's, it's like the, I'd never call him, I'd never call him Meatball Ron. Then he's like, don't call him a fat pig. I would, don't, you can't call him a fat pig, even though he's literally saying Keep that. Keep saying it over yeah. and over again. So, yeah, those are, those are close <laughs> to the week. But he did say, Christy can't be here, he's yeah, eating yeah, right now. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty good, dude. <laughs> You he's know, playing the classics. He's a terrible he person, that, but he's got he's got it sometimes. Uh, it's just I like, think he's losing it though. That's why he keeps, like you said, the classics. Yeah, he keeps replaying. He it. can't do anything else besides what what I won him last time. I mean, and lost him the, the last time. election. So it worked the first time though. Well, I didn't really lose the last one. It got stolen from him. Yeah, you didn't hear about that. They yeah. call it the great big hoax. The hoax. <laughs> They're calling it the great big hoax. Call it the great big hoagie. Those well, are the clips the week. for the week. Next up, let's let's unless you had something else. No, that's all I've got. Let's jump into our next door drama, which in case you don't know, the next door app is the infamous blog posting website for your neighborhood where people can post whatever the hell they want about what's going on in the neighborhood. Can somebody come clean my gutters? My come uh my gutters. Um I got I got my gutters all gutted up. My gutters are all gunked anybody, up. Anybody anybody know where I can get a tire? <laughs> anybody know where I can buy my tires? I need tires. Anybody know where I can buy them? Anybody know where I can get some good medicine around here? Anybody know where I can change my oil? <clears throat> Anybody know who, what store sells the good ibuprofen? <laughs> Any of these stores st still sell the Tylenol with the cyanide in it? Please. Please. Um, but what we do every week is we take a blog entry, we take the comments, we script it out, and we do a dramatic reenactment of it between Gavin and I, set to music. It's scored. Scored. And this Score? week, as I mentioned earlier, is titled, Is This Your Baby? With two question marks. Gavin, did you notice my little note about how this needs to go down? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Gavin, will be Gavin ugh, will be playing Tina, who has a big issue. I will be playing Crystal, who's an average animal lover. Without saying much else. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. By setting it off with the next door drama intro.
This week on Next Door Drama. Is this your baby? Do you ever wonder where he goes at night? He comes to my house every night. My cat is big enough to kick his ass. My mom has to mention and occasionally lets my cats out. Need I say more? Whoever you are, you are an irresponsible pet owner. I certainly hope that nothing gets a hold of this sweet baby. I'm about to steal him! With the responsibility... With the response able intro, he and my cats could get along. Up your game or he is mine. Educate yourself, please. Not only is this dangerous, it is illegal. Um, it is not illegal to allow cats outside to roam free. It's almost like saying it is illegal for you to go outside and take a walk. It is not legal. Look it up. Cats left to roam subject the owners to fines. They can be trapped, and if owner known, they will be fined, just like dogs. If you let a dog run around, you can and will be fined. Not everyone is a cat lover, so keep your pets under your roof like a responsible pet owner. <laughs> let me know what you find out. But honestly, has anyone ever been fined for letting their cat go out and roam? Maybe a dog if it caused an accident or something. But never in my life have I read anything as crazy as that. But yet all those cars driving around with expired temp tags for years. It is considered when they, for example, use my garden for a litter box or walk across my car and scratch the paint. This isn't the country. Think of it as a dog. Some laws read up. I mean, I'm sure wildlife does the same. A, cow, a cat outdoors has about a two year lifespan. My indoor cats have lived up to 20 years. Who let the cats out? <coughs> Do you let your cats roam free? Oh, no. Wait. I have seen some cats though that do roam. I, I think what this person does, like I think it's just because this person put a cat, like a cop collar on this cat, they think that this cat's owned. Yeah. But it's like people put a collar on a cat. They're like, oh, see, the cat comes back and visits me every once a night. This cat yeah, is I going to visit you because you have a cat, idiot. Right. So we're not, I'm not gonna. You. There's no reason to show the pictures. No, not but it's like an orange tabby cat looking in on a house, and there's a black cat on the windowsill looking at the orange cat outside yeah, right that's it and that's literally it and they're rip shit pissed about it because they have nothing else going on in their life and it's like dude you have a cat the cat off yeah i will say it, it's i've seen videos of like cats in apartments and so then they're like meow, meow. Mm. They get, they're like go meow. when they see another cat yeah. or just in general no when i see another cat they go you know they, they do well, yeah, that's what cats do. Yeah, I know, but like they're like... Dogs bark when they see another dog. Yeah, that's true. <clears throat> but they, they go ballistic when they see like another cat. Yeah. But is that, you know, is that reason enough to... I think they should be fined for that. Go to jail, hell. What? Go to hell in jail. <laughs> go to hell in jail. Yeah. Quote that. Go to hell in jail. I just think it's go a really jail, stupid hell. thing to get that upset about listen man some I people are passionate about time. yeah me too run them over saw, uh, yeah <laughs> collect them on the front like uh, trophies front. yep <laughs> put their bodies hang their bodies off my uh my uh, from front porch from my front porch yeah no hang i was gonna up. say from my uh uh antenna yeah i i, I, I head like a shish kebab like a vlad the impaler yeah they call me cars car car the car the impaler because it's, cause it's a car and my name's carson so that was next door drama. 
Gavin, uh, another segment we do every week is self-explanatory. It's called What You Listen To. It's where we recommend a song, album, band, artist that we've been listening to in the past week. To each other, to the audience. Gavin posts them on Instagram every week. So you can go check them out. I got like something real caught. Yeah, I kept choking after dinner today. It was ridiculous. Well, it's because you don't chew your food. I inhaled that dinner. Vlad the inhaler. Yeah. It's just a guy who's gets. It's a guy from Russia who gets really. It high. gets. He gets really, really. He gets viciously oh, high. Shit. He's doing whippets and stuff. Yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. What'd you have for dinner? The uh, big Woody's barbecue. No, I, not my nickname. What did you have for dinner? Barbecue. BBQ from Big Woody's old stomping grounds. It's a BBQ. Of mine. Yeah. I really like Big Woody. It's actually so reasonably priced. It's not bad. Yeah. It's good stuff. What are you listening to this week, or do you want me to go first? Uh, I am listening to Let the Light In by Lana Del Rey featuring Father John Misty. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. I can actually find out right now. My stomach just made another yeah. noise. Okay, yeah. never mind. But you recommend? Didn't you recommend Lana Del Rey recently? Yeah, Dealer by Lana Del Rey. That was two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, yeah. I'm going through some shit. Yeah, Gavin's got problems at home. And anything else you want to say about it? Uh, yeah, so Father John I Misty. saw. Uh, I've heard this song before. I haven't listened to this album though. But I, uh, Father John Misty is really good. I really like Father John Misty stuff. I know people who really like him. Him? Yeah, I think it's it's got some religious overtone undertones, but like it's not okay. like overtly like religious. Okay. But he he adds a element to the song that's I. Um, uh, element to the song that makes it sound like it's like a, a couple singing it's about like letting hmm. someone in through the back door and you know hanging out and like picking them up dropping yeah. them off you know um that old thing yeah uh but this song um are you looking it up yeah i'm trying to figure out what album it was on hmm. the it was on did you know there's a tunnel under ocean boulevard that came out earlier this year Mm. on march but i'm trying to go to this wikipedia oh what Hmm. it's not the right song no it's not but i incorrectly a couple weeks ago whenever i did dealer um incorrectly attributed the the song background singer to Jack Antonoff but it's actually Miles Kane who is part of the Last Shadow Puppets with Alex Turner from hmm. the Arctic Monkeys oh um, well, we corrected that now yeah but yeah uh, I, I really like this song and I think there's a couple other songs in this album I really like too but um, this Let the Light In song is very good nice good duet maybe I'll give it a spin yeah. give it a spin uh, this week Call this cappuccino. Bring out the cappuccino. Say it, Look, Just like a cappuccino. <laughs> it looked like just like one. Uh, this week, I, I talked to Gavin about this privately, <laughs> but I am listening to an album by the band Thornhill titled Heroin. It came out last year. I have been getting heavily into Thornhill recently uh, but dude can't listen to royal blood muse i just it's not enough i need that heavy shit you know i like that heavy shit dog dude you know it dude you know that's my shit um thornhill has been a band that i've known about since around the time i got into like heavier music like i kind of <laughs> all right it's dismissive already um when I started getting into heavy music and I was getting into hardcore, this was like a band that was like, would come up on my like Discover Weekly type stuff. And I like I I was like, this is really cool, but I didn't like dig in at the time because I think it was, it was it, my pea sized brain at the time didn't understand it. Um, so back then I was listening to The Dark Pool, which I really liked. Deadpool? Deadpool, <laughs> which I really like Deadpool if you know anything about me. Um, but I never, I never, I never touched back in with them. And then somewhat recently, randomly, this song that I almost recommended, Temperer, came up, which is their first single they ever released as far as I know. 
and it blew my mind and i was like what the hell this this is insane this what is the such hell a, what the hell is going on what the it's hell is going 106 on 106 degrees a deer um great job with the ac fellas and then i was like maybe i gotta dig into thornhill a little bit more <sighs> and so i did and i think i realized because i've literally i have not stopped listening to them i've been listening to them nonstop for like three weeks straight dude give it up two or three weeks straight give it up man and it's funny because this is kind of what i do with deftones mm -hmm. is like oh yeah i did listen to that deftone oh, yeah, sorry. yeah no you're fine i will literally just like cycle through deftones albums for like a month straight and only listen to that and i think what i realized after doing the same with thornhill now for the past two weeks is that they are pretty similar to deftones in a way in that sound and I think they're kind of like filling, like they're like bridging the gap and like filling the hole of like not having new Deftone stuff right now. It's yeah. like similar enough. Mm -hmm. Not that they're, you know, not their own band doing really great shit. That's awesome. And they're not ripping like, off the sound of Deftones per se. They no, just sound all. like them. Yeah. Um, no. Okay. And so I've just been nonstop listening to that, spinning this album. Uh, I can tell you what songs I like because I've listened to it so many times. Uh, my favorite on the album, the first song I heard off of it, Hollywood, is so good. Casanova, another great one. Raw is really good. Uh, Archangel is also really good. Also, their interludes are really cool. Um, I don't like play, like when I'm listening to the album, I don't really play them anymore. But Something Terrible Came With The Rain is really cool. Valentine, I would consider an interlude. Both really good. They're just kind of almost back to back which is a little annoying i don't like when bands do that uh super good album though again on the heavier side i would say if you're not someone who's into like super heavy stuff but you like rock alternative stuff like muse gavin and i talked i played it for him last week and muse and uh royal blood yeah kind very of similar like, to yeah. that if you like that kind of I, what i would consider like heavy indie rock heavy indie alternative ish yeah. rock mm -hmm. uh i think you'd be into this but it is a little heavier, you know, I'll warn you. Um, and that's it. That's what I'm yeah, saying. I did listen to yeah. Saturday Night Wrist by uh, Deftones. I saw you post there. Cherry Waves on your story, and I was like, that's my guy. Yeah, uh, that's my I, guy. Listened to, I listened to it while I was playing MLB, I think. Such uh, a good album. Yeah, I was it's like, so wow, there's good. a couple really good songs in here. I'm like, this is fucking sick. I yeah. forgot what song it was, but... A um, couple of them, I was like, oh, wow, this is not Deftones. Uh, yeah. I think it was like Pink Cell Phone. I was like, okay. Yeah, sure. they, they do some weird shit. And it, I was like, this cool. is, all right. I'm like, all right, that's new, I guess. So. If you like that, listen to Koi No Yokan next. It's yeah, I, I have uh, I have listened to a little bit on there. Leathers is really good off that. Uh, Rosemary. Rosemary's to, good. Yeah, yeah, dude, they're so good. And I was like, I was such a like stubborn bastard about just listening to, uh, 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 why can't I think of the name of the album now? God damn it um their newest one no around the fur oh yeah i was like only listening to that and then i was like let me try some of this newer stuff and then i was like this is so much better yeah like I, it's i can go back and listen to that and listen to their first album uh adrenaline but it's like i gotta be in the mood i gotta be yeah. in the mood for all of it but it's i mean it's all so good it just spans i can't listen to genres. around the fur too long because then i get like really dread i get a dread sense yeah. over me well, don't like, listen to Adrenaline because it's even more dreadful I'm and like, like harsh. Ugh. Yeah, I'm like, oh god, I'm like this. I'm like, I fucking hate myself. Yeah, uh, but I really did like. I also like that. But yeah, big Deftones fans. Big Deftones fans. Yeah, big Incel. Deftones. Big Def Incel. Deftones fans. Deftones. Uh, so we last week after the podcast, we also tried playing around with this. So this is as good as we're gonna get it to sound right now. Nowhere near where my iPad was. It's better. A little bit better. I think my whole sound is kind of fucked up. I have everything sounding weird to me today, so. But it does, this actually, it's the first thing today that's actually sounded right, so. Well, everybody, thanks for listening to the Excel. Well, everybody, thanks for the listening insult. to Well, everybody, thanks for listening to the Excel. Well, everybody, thanks for listening to the Excel. Well, everybody, thanks for listening to the It Takes All Kinds podcast episode 127. Keep watching, keep listening, keep rating, keep watching. We'll be here, and you'll be listening to us. Um, Carson. Have you ever tried it? Have you ever tried it? The vultures are waiting to pick your bones.